What you're looking at here is Google Classroom. Currently, this is not available for Wake County Public School students as they do not have Google accounts at this time. However, it is available for teachers to use and begin to learn so that when the accounts become available, they are more familiar with the program. What I'm going to do here is just quickly go through how Google Classroom can be used for the 8th grade band online portfolio tool that Steve, Tony, and I have created. This is to show you how it's possible to submit or have students submit online uh, tests or multiple choice tests for you to see and grade without ever having to worry about paper. All right. So while this is not available now, I'm going to show you how it could work as we've set up a classroom. All right. So once you create your Google Classroom, you can name it as you want. You see I've created 8th grade band and it's first period for me. All right. I've already created an assignment down here, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and add an assignment. So if you click on assignment, we're going to call this the test multiple choice so that we know that it's not the one we want to use. And let's say it's going to be due tomorrow and I'll make it due at 12 o'clock p.m. so they have just a little over a day to get it done. And then I need to go find the document I want to attach. Now it's important to note that you can only add documents at this point. So if I click on the folder of where everything is, it'll take me a second to get to it. I'm adding the multiple choice assessment, which is the component for document multiple choice test and I click add and there it is. You're given the option if students can view file, edit file, or make a copy for each student. It's important that you choose if you want to grade it appropriately to make a copy for each student. What this does is then adds their name to the end of this automatically for you and for the student. There's no need to worry about whether or not a student puts their name on it. So then I click assign. It'll take a second there. I am having some connectivity issues so hopefully this will go through. Perfect. You see and you can see that Steve Cooney is in my class so I see that Nobody has done this yet, and I'm still missing one, so Steve obviously needs to complete this for the sake of time that we've already had them had him do this ahead of time. So every time you create a class in Google Classroom, in your Google Drive account, there's a folder automatically created for you called Classroom. If you click on Classroom, you'll see the classes that you've set up. I'm a part of a science department class, and I'm a part of the 8th grade band one that I created. When I open this up, you'll see that here's the one that we just created, Test Multiple Choice. Obviously, there's nothing in there yet, as Steve has not completed it. And if you choose the 8th grade component for multiple choice, you'll see that right here, Steve has completed it. And I can open it up and see his responses, and then I could grade. If he was doing this, and like I said, we did this for time, you could, he would have these bolded, all his answers, and then I could go in and add comments and provide feedback. In band, then you're able, or in classroom, then you're able to go in and you can add his grade in and provide comments that way as well and then Steve would be alerted once his grades have been assigned. So this is Google Classroom. This is the way to make multiple choice Google documents easier to grade for you and keep all of that system online and still within the eighth grade portfolio that we've set up in Google Drive.